Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today we're working on a Honda Odyssey here. Uh, 2007 model, but it will be, but what we're doing today, we work on many years of that Honda Odyssey. We're going to be replacing the door, door lock actuator, okay? That's a funny word to say when English is not your first language, but if your, if your uh, lock doesn't work, okay, let me show you what I'm talking about now. Uh, if you try to lock and unlock with, with the remote, okay, you can hear it skipping listen now okay and it doesn't want to do it you can lock it manually with the key but you cannot uh, use the buttons because inside it's messed up so what's happening it's this one right here and there is uh, most of the times there is a plastic gear right here that gets wore out and it doesn't work this one it's very inexpensive we'll have the links for all the tools and parts we use on our website mechaniclifestyle.com it will be in the description guys so if you need to find it it's there so we'll need to remove the door panel now first we need to remove that uh, that lid right here there is a clip that you press on like that and you pull it out then there is a there is a few screwdriver screw two of them that we need to remove Okay, just like that. Alright okay, guys, so now underneath right here we have an extra screw that we will need to remove facing the door panel. That's where it is. I just took the light because it, it's a little bit dark. It's about to storm outside. We will have many, many videos on that Honda. Probably 50 to 100 videos coming soon on the channel. How to fix different things. So make sure you subscribe guys. So now we're using trim removal tools guys, those are very inexpensive, you can get them uh, online. We have the links on our website as I told you, things that we use, parts that we, we buy. So we forgot, uh, we need to remove the uh, master window switch right here now. So we're going to pry this one up. Okay, you have to be very careful not to crack the trim piece. This is for the mirrors as well. And now we'll need to disconnect all the wiring harness, okay, on those. Once we remove it, okay, you can see that middle piece. You press it in and you pull the wires out. Same procedure on the other side. Okay, right there. Perfect. And now, let me show you why we needed to do that. There is a hidden screw right here. Fill up screwdriver again. Okay, like that. So we'll need to remove that one and we'll see how complicated it is to get to that door lock. So far, not a complicated procedure at all, guys. Okay, now we'll need to remove the cover for the mirror. Just grab it or use the trim removal tool so you don't scratch it, okay, like that pull it out because now we will need to I believe we will need to go up okay like that and we need to disconnect the cables now okay here for the for the lock let me let me come on this side to see if I can get a little bit of a better view okay like that In this such a, such a limited room. So now we'll need to disconnect this wire here. Okay, so now we need to remove it out of the plastic piece there and pull it out, guys. And the door panel is out of the way now. So now we can start digging for the, for the lock there. Okay, guys, so it's actually right here. But what we can do now, we cannot just go ahead and remove that. We need to remove it with the whole door lock but the window rail is in the way so we'll need to remove that one so this one will just disconnect the wiring harness here a couple screws that we're going to remove on the door that's the one that holds the lock okay you can see okay get this one loose 
Okay, and uh, later I'm going. I'm going to show this one comes only out in a specific way. Okay, you just pull it out. Okay, like that because it gets stuck on the bottom. Uh, we need to disconnect this clip right here, so that's fine. Now we need a 10 millimeter to remove that bolt. Okay, right there because this bolt is the one that holds the window rail. Now you grab the rail and you pull it straight down. Okay, remember the way you took it off. Okay, let me... Okay, this is the window rail. That's how we took it off. Okay, you can see how it's curved by the door. And now, what we need to do, actually we need to disconnect the pushing rod. Okay, there is one pushing rod right here. You can see this one. This is for the door handle. So you need to turn it to unlock the clip and pull it out. Okay, and it came out now. You can actually pry it a little bit. Okay, let me show you now. Such a limited room. Okay, this is the one I'm talking about right here. So, okay, you can see that's where it was stuck all the way in. Okay, let me focus on it a little bit better maybe. Okay, like that. And you pry it out. Okay, this one is disconnected now. Then we have three Phillips screwdriver. Okay, screws that we need to remove here. Okay guys, so we're using actually a bit like that, okay, few screwdriver bit and those are super super tight so we're going to tap on them a little bit, not too much because it will bend the dog. Okay, like that and with the ratchet now, we're going to remove them, okay, and they got loose like that, otherwise if you mess them up, you have to drill them. And it's a headache, believe me. You probably need to buy the outside lock as well. So now we can go ahead and remove them. We got all of them loose. Okay, right there now. That's the last one. And now this one will actually drop a little bit. So. We'll need to remove that wire again. It got in the way. All right, perfect. Now we can pull it to the side and we can disconnect the wires by pressing here. Okay. And pulling them off. Okay, and now we need to... Now there is another one rod. Okay, this one there that we forgot to remove. It's the same like the one towards the front. But you need to spin the thing, okay, and push it out. Okay, this one spun. Now we need to pull, pull it out somehow. Okay, it came out and now we need to come in a specific angle. Okay, we'll pull it like that. So you can see we have the whole actuator out of the way now and this is it right here that's what we're replacing there is a couple of screws that we will need to remove now so we can get to it I'm gonna show you exactly what needs to be done so there is actually three screws that we'll be removing two of them are hidden okay that few screwdriver now Okay, one is almost out, pretty long screws. There is another one under that black tape there. Okay, this one is going a little bit tighter than the other one. Okay, almost almost out of there now. And we have one more after that that's located right here under this tape. So we'll go ahead and remove this one now. We're getting close to be able to replace that actuator. It's very, very inexpensive, but if you go to a shop, 
or the dealer they will charge you a ridiculous amount of money for doing that now there is a few small clips that will be unhooking right here and now we need to remove that metal plate with a few screwdriver just remember how you take take everything apart so you can put it together later okay just lift it up now Okay, like that. Now we need a small screwdriver. We need to spread this one here and pull on the actuator. Okay, you see. And there is one more on this side. Okay, now it started going. <laughs> it went in again. Okay, this one. Okay, now you have to be careful. Just pull it out. And all we have to do, grab the new one, push it back in. Okay, you need to make sure that they're facing the same way. This one here, okay, so it should be kind of like that. Okay, and next you need to install the metal plate right here with the lock okay guys so we put this one together okay this one goes underneath that one and we're going to install the screw now and pretty much connect everything in reverse order we took it apart next you need to install these two covers install the three screws that we removed earlier so now we need to get it in place, the way we remove it guys, remember, connect the two rods, install the screws, two screws here, and we are going to test it and see how it works after that. Pretty much in reverse order that we took it apart. Alright guys, don't forget to install the, the window rail now, and what we are going to do now, just be very gentle, we will put the switch on only before we put everything together, we want to test everything so we don't have to take everything apart in case it doesn't work I'm gonna turn the key on, gently pull the window down so when I lock the door I can still unlock it from the inside okay with this one if I have to okay, door is unlocked now, let's try to lock it okay perfect that fixed the problem guys as you can see so all we have to do put the put the door panel back together thank you guys for watching please subscribe and see you guys next time